A milkshake is a sweet, cold beverage that is usually made from milk, ice cream, or iced milk, and flavorings or sweeteners such as butterscotch, caramel sauce, chocolate syrup, or fruit syrup. Outside of the United States, milkshakes using ice cream or iced milk are sometimes called a thick milkshake or thick shake. In New England, the term frappe may be used to differentiate it from thinner forms of flavored milk, with the term for a coffee ice cream, coffee syrup, and milk based beverage combination receiving the name coffee cabinet in Rhode Island. Full service restaurants, soda fountains, and diners usually prepare and mix the shake by hand from scoops of ice cream and milk in a blender or drink mixer using a stainless steel cup. Many fast food outlets do not make shakes by hand with ice cream, instead, they make shakes in automatic milkshake machines which freeze and serve a pre-made milkshake mixture consisting of milk, a sweetened flavoring agent, and a thickening agent. However, some fast food outlets still follow the traditional method, and some serve milkshakes which are prepared by blending soft serve ice cream or ice milk with flavoring or syrups. Milkshakes can also be made at home with a blender or automatic drink mixer. A milkshake can also be made by adding powder into fresh milk and stirring the powder into the milk. Milkshakes made in this way can come in a variety of flavors, including chocolate, caramel, strawberry, and banana. Topic. Types topic. Hand blended Hand blended milkshakes are traditionally made from any flavor of ice cream. Additional flavorings, such as chocolate syrup and or malt syrup or malt powder, can be added prior to mixing. This allows a greater variety than is available in machine-made shakes. Some unusual milkshake recipes exclude ice cream. Milkshake-like recipes which use a high proportion of fruit and no ice cream are usually called smoothies, even if frozen yogurt, a dairy dessert, is used. However, there are cases where a blended beverage is made with sherbet, frozen yogurt, and fruit which are sold as smoothies even though they could also be considered milkshakes. When malted milk is added, a milkshake is called a malted milkshake, a malt shake, or malt shake, a malted, or simply a malt. An ice cream based milkshake may be called a thick milkshake or thick shake in the United Kingdom or a frappe, frappe or frappe in parts of New England and Canada. In Rhode Island and southeastern Massachusetts, coffee syrup or coffee flavored ice cream is used to make the aforementioned local coffee cabinet shake. Milkshakes with added fruit called batido are popular in Latin America and in Miami's Cuban expatriate community. In Nicaragua, milkshakes are called leche malteada. Some U.S. restaurants serve milkshakes with crumbled cookies, candy bar pieces, or alcoholic beverages. The Grasshopper Milkshake, for example, includes crumbled chocolate cookies, creme de mont liqueur, and chocolate mint ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> milkshake machines Restaurants with the highest volume of traffic, such as McDonald's, often opt to use pre-made milkshake mixtures that are prepared in automatic milkshake machines. These machines are metallic cylinders with beaters that use refrigeration coils to freeze pre-made milkshake mixtures into a drinkable texture. The number of different flavors that restaurants with automatic milkshake machines can serve is limited by the number of different tanks in their milkshake machines, so such fast food restaurants usually offer fewer flavors of milkshakes. The smallest automatic milkshake machines are counter-mounted appliances that can make a single milkshake flavor using a 5L stainless steel tank. Large restaurants that wish to offer multiple flavors can either use floor-mounted multi-flavor machines with multiple 5-liter stainless steel barrels or use carbon dioxide-based machines that mix the flavors during dispensing. Some fast food restaurants use thick milkshake. Machines, which are single flavor machines with a 12L 2.6 imp gal, 3.2 US gal stainless steel tank. Topic: <laughs> Soft serve mixed with syrup. Some fast food restaurants such as Dairy Queen serve milkshakes which are prepared by blending soft serve ice cream or ice milk with sweetened flavored syrups such as chocolate syrup and fruit flavored syrup and milk. Pre-made products 
Pre-made milkshakes are sold in grocery stores in North America and the UK. These drinks are made from milk mixed with sweetened flavoured powder, artificial syrup, or concentrate, which would otherwise be called flavoured milk, thickened with carrageenan or other products. Bottled milkshakes are usually sold in 330 milliliters, 500 milliliters, or 1 liter bottles. History Topic: 1880s to 1930s. When the term milkshake was first used in print in 1885, milkshakes were an alcoholic whiskey drink that has been described as a sturdy, healthful eggnog type of drink with eggs, whiskey, etc., served as a tonic as well as a treat. However, by 1900, the term referred to wholesome drinks made with chocolate, strawberry, or vanilla syrups. By the early 1900s people were asking for the new treat, often with ice cream. By the 1930s, milkshakes were a popular drink at malt shops, which were the typical soda fountain of the period, used by students as a meeting place or hangout. The history of the electric blender, malted milk drinks, and milkshakes are interconnected. Before the widespread availability of electric blenders, milkshake-type drinks were more like eggnog, or they were a hand-shaken mixture of crushed ice and milk, sugar, and flavorings. Hamilton Beach's drink mixers began being used at soda fountains in 1911 and the electric blender or drink mixer was invented by Stephen Poplowski in 1922. With the invention of the blender, milkshakes began to take their modern, whipped, aerated, and frothy form. The use of malted milk powder in milkshakes was popularized in the USA by the Chicago drugstore chain Walgreens. Malted milk powder—a mixture of evaporated milk, malted barley, and wheat flour—had been invented by William Horlick in 1897 for use as an easily digested restorative health drink for disabled people and children, and as an infant's food. However, healthy people soon began drinking beverages made with malted milk simply for the taste, and malted milk beverages containing milk, chocolate syrup, and malt powder became a standard offering at soda fountains. In 1922, Walgreens employee Ivar Pop Colson made a milkshake by adding two scoops of vanilla ice cream to the standard malted milk drink recipe. This item, under the name, Horlick's Malted Milk was featured by the Walgreen drugstore chain as part of a chocolate milkshake, which itself became known as a malted or malt, and became one of the most popular soda fountain drinks. The automation of milkshakes developed in the 1930s, after the invention of Freon-cooled refrigerators provided a safe, reliable way of automatically making and dispensing ice cream. In 1936, inventor Earl Prince used the basic concept behind the Freon-cooled automated ice cream machine to develop the Multimixer, a five-spindled mixer that could produce five milkshakes at once, all automatically, and dispense them at the pull of a lever into awaiting paper cups. In the late 1930s, several newspaper articles show that the term, frosted, was used to refer to milkshakes made with ice cream. In 1937, the Denton Journal in Maryland stated that, for a frosted shake, add a dash of your favorite ice cream. In 1939, the Mansfield News in Ohio stated that a frosted beverage, in the vernacular, is something good to which ice cream has been added. Example par excellence is frosted coffee. That hot, tasty beverage made chilly with ice and frosty with ice cream. 1940s to 1950s By the 1950s, popular places to drink milkshakes were Woolworths 5 and 10, lunch counters, diners, burger joints, and drugstore soda fountains. These establishments often prominently displayed a shining chrome or stainless steel milkshake mixing machine. These establishments made milkshakes in Hamilton Beach or similar styles of drink mixers, which had spindles and agitators that folded air into the drinks for smooth, fluffy results and served them in 12 and a half ounce tall, Y shaped glasses. Soda fountain staff had their own jargon, such as burn one all the way chocolate malted with chocolate ice cream, twist it, choke it, and make it cackle chocolate malted with an egg, shake one in the hay a strawberry shake, and a white cow a vanilla milkshake. 
In the 1950s, a milkshake machine salesman named Ray Kroc bought exclusive rights to the 1930s-era multimixer milkshake maker from inventor Earl Prince, and went on to use automated milkshake machines to speed up production at McDonald's restaurants. Milkshakes had also become popular in other parts of the world, including the United Kingdom and Australia. In Australia, milk bars had grown popular and milkshakes were normally served lightly whipped and often in the aluminium or stainless steel cups in which they were prepared. In addition to more conventional flavours, spearmint and lime-flavoured milkshakes became popular in Australia. Nomenclature In the 1950s, milkshakes were called frappes, velvets, frosted drinks, or cabinets. In different parts of the USA specialty style of milkshake, the concrete was a milkshake so thick that the server hands it out the order window upside down, demonstrating that not a drop will drip. In 1952, the Newport Daily News in Rhode Island contained a Guide for Top Quality Ice Cream Sodas Cabinets Milkshakes", which shows the use of the term, cabinet, in print. An article from 1953 in the Salisbury Times in the state of Maryland suggests that shakes can be made in a jar by shaking well. The article states that by adding four large tablespoons of ice cream, the drink becomes a frosted shake. Currently, in New England, and especially the greater Boston area, the ice cream and milk dessert known as a milkshake in other parts of the country is referred to as a frappe in these locales milkshake refers to a lighter drink usually made of shaken or blended milk with flavoring of some sort a milkshake may be abbreviated as shake in some restaurants topic 2000s present In 2005, the traditional home of the milkshake, the family restaurants and 24-hour diner-style restaurants that were the staples of 1950s and 60s America such as Denny's, Big Boy, and the International House of Pancakes, were supplanted. Less than pre greater than slash pre greater than dot 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 in terms of revenue for the first time since the U.S. Census started measuring this in the 1970s. The shift means the burger, fries, and milkshake ideal evoked by the sitcom Happy Days is losing its hold on the American appetite. Instead, U.S. consumers are going out to casual dining restaurants. In 2006, the U.S. Agricultural Research Service developed reduced sugar, low fat milkshakes for lunch programs. The shakes have half the sugar and only 10% of the fat of commercial fast food shakes. Schools need a milkshake machine or soft serve ice cream machine to serve the milkshakes. The milkshakes also have added fiber and other nutrients, and they have much less lactose, which makes the shakes appropriate for some lactose intolerant people. The U.S. sales of milkshakes, malts, and floats rose 11% in 2006, according to the industry research firm NPD Group. Christopher Muller, the director of the Center for Multi Unit Restaurant Management at Orlando's University of Central Florida, states that Milkshakes remind us of summer, youth, and indulgence. And they're evocative of a time gone by. Muller states that milkshakes are an enormously profitable item for restaurants, since the fluffy drinks contain so much air. The market research firm Technomic claims that about 75% of the average priced $3.38 restaurant shake in 2006 was profit. An executive from Sonic Drive-In, a U.S. chain of 1950s-style diner restaurants, calls shakes. One of our highest volume, revenue-producing areas. Part of the increase in milkshake sales reported in 2006 may be due to the increasing availability of innovative chef-designed milkshakes in high-end restaurants. In 2006, the Los Angeles Times reported that chefs from hipster hangouts and retro landmarks are using Macerated Farmers Market Strawberries, Valrona Chocolate, and Madagascar Bourbon Vanilla to make new milkshake flavors. 
Other novel ideas offered in LA area restaurants include milkshakes made with toasted pecans, saffron rose water or orange blossom ice cream, taro root, vanilla beans steeped in rum, Valrona chocolate and grey goose vodka, and vanilla custard mixed with Russian imperial stout. A 2016 article stated that chefs are trying out innovative ideas with milkshakes to keep customers interested in the frothy drinks. The article noted that coffee-flavored shakes are popular because it coffee flavor complements both sweet and savory dishes. At one market restaurant, Gay Pride was celebrated with a Harvey milkshake intended for adults, due to its alcohol content, named after the groundbreaking gay U.S. politician. The shake included vanilla ice cream, pinnacle peach vodka, Godiva white chocolate liqueur, strawberries, blueberries and Valrona white chocolate pride tweel. Other bars are also adding alcoholic beverages to shakes for adults, such as spirits and or beer, though these can be very challenging to pull off without dairy curdling. Unusual flavors from 2016 included bacon, particularly popular amongst millennials, peanut butter and jelly, like the popular sandwich, pumpkin, chocolate-coated strawberry and red velvet, like the cake. Another trend is using different types of milk, such as almond milk, coconut milk, or hemp milk. An unusual trend from 2016 was the Black Tap milkshake, a premium priced $15, calorie drink that includes a mountain of ice cream topped with peanut butter cups, lollipops, cotton candy, or even entire slices of cake. Similar drinks referred to as freak shakes were popular in the United Kingdom and Australia around this time. A 2018 article described a date shake made with ice milk in a concentrated form of dates called Date Crystals. The milkshake, sold in Palm Springs, California, was described by the reviewer as e arthy and sweet, with tastes of butterscotch, caramel and even chocolate, with surprisingly complex flavors. Topic. In popular culture The longest drink in town is a popular drink cup in New Zealand with a branded logo of a giraffe that is used for milkshakes throughout the country, most commonly in dairies. The cup was introduced in 1968, it has a logo as composed of a giraffe on a cup or shirt, with text reading, The longest drink in town. Next to it, the phrase, The longest drink in town compares the height of the milkshake cup to that of a giraffe. In 2011, Delmain introduced a brand of milkshake syrups under the brand name The Longest Drink in Town. Master Shake, one of the main characters from the long-running American animated television series Aqua Teen Hunger Force also known by various alternative titles, is a life-sized anthropomorphic milkshake. In the ultraviolent futuristic dystopia in A Clockwork Orange by director Stanley Kubrick, the young gang members go to the Karova Milk Bar for Milk Plus, a dairy beverage to which stimulants and hallucinogenic drugs have been added. Milkshakes in the movies are shorthand for sweetness and goodness. In All About Eve, by director Joseph L. Mankiewicz, Betty Davis's character is unhappy to see a man she likes chatting up her young female assistant, so Davis's character orders an alcoholic martini, and then mockingly suggests that Eve, the young assistant, will have a milkshake, thereby asserting womanhood over girlhood through milkshakes' associations with virginity. Similarly, the socially awkward and nerdy character Steve Buscemi plays in Ghost World is made fun of by a teenage girl because he orders a virginal vanilla milkshake. In Manhattan, by director Woody Allen, the director draws attention to the difference in age between his 42-year-old character he also acts in the lead role and his teenage girlfriend by having her drink a milkshake. In the film Lolita in 1997, a teenage girl drinks a milkshake while she is with the middle-aged man her mother's new boyfriend who is attracted to her. Pulp Fiction has a scene in a retro 50s diner where two characters on a first date discuss the merits of a $5 milkshake. Martin and Lewis, for vanilla, Amos and Andy, for chocolate. The TV series Riverdale depicts the characters in a 1950s inspired local diner, Pop's Chocolate Shop, where they favor the greasy, calorie laden stuff of American folklore burgers, fries, and milkshakes. To promote the show, the cast
shared a milkshake on a Jimmy Fallon talk show segment in reference to their character's heroic consumption of thick malts. A 2018 article in The Atlantic, entitled, American Nostalgia on a Bun, states that, burger, shake, and fries, enduring icons of American cuisine, are used to symbolize abundance, accessibility, and dominance while ignoring the dark side of those values. Milkshake is the title of a 2003 R&B electro song written and produced by the Neptunes for American singer Khalees' third studio album, Tasty. It reached the top 10 in the United Kingdom, Australia, and the Netherlands, and became Khalees' biggest success to date on Billboard Hot 100 in the United States, peaking at number 3. The song became an internet meme following the release of Paul Thomas Anderson's 2007 film There Will Be Blood, in which scenes from the film most notably from its famous I Drink Your Milkshake scene were edited to the song. The line became something of a catchphrase for the film and gained moderate recognition in popular culture following the film's release. In 2017, The Guardian described the slang term milkshake duck, which refers to the social media, arc, where the internet rushes en masse to embrace something or someone as cute, worthy, fun or funny, such as a duck that drinks milkshakes, but then just as quickly drops it, when it's revealed to somehow be unpleasantly complicated. The paper called the term useful shorthand for when a favorite concept is revealed to be problematic. In 2017, there was also a trend of posting photos of milkshakes online. The hashtag, hashtag #freakshakes was used for more than 89,000 posts on Instagram. Photographer Alana Demo made fun of the trend of topping milkshakes with donuts perched upon mason jars and Kit Kats wedged like an unholy crucifix, with each establishment attempting to outdo the last to outplay the originals who rightly hold the claim to fame. Her parody photos show milkshakes topped with tall stacks of donuts or burgers. See also Health shake Smoothie Haldi ka dude